because in fact the one of the things we emphasize with an electric semi truck is that it's, it's much more energy efficient than uh, a diesel truck. So it seems clear that the era of sluggish diesel engines is about to come to a screeching halt. Tesla has revolutionized the global electric mobility movement with its quirky and efficient passenger vehicles. Imagine your new electric car being delivered to you directly on an electric semi-truck that is powered by the sun, wind, and battery power. It's really cool then to see that finally the Tesla semi-truck is actually delivering Tesla's electric cars. Indeed, the semi isn't just any old truck. It's a zero-emission cargo machine that outperforms traditional gas guzzlers in every way such as range, economy, operating costs, and performance. In this episode, we're diving into the latest advancements in the top features of Tesla's electric truck, which has been rapidly evolving. Additionally, we have exciting updates on the thrilling test of the Tesla Cybertruck in New Zealand, and the fact that the Gigafactory in Mexico has officially laid the first brick. So join us as we cover the latest news in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. Recently, there have been many leaks indicating that the Tesla Semi debuts with great capacity. The information has surfaced, suggesting that the Tesla Semi is set to make an impressive debut with its remarkable capacity. This heavy-duty truck classified as a Class 8 vehicle by the Federal Aviation by the, by the Federal Highway Administration boasts the highest weight rating at 33,001 pounds. The fifth wheel, responsible for attaching the trailer to the truck, is of substantial size, enabling the semi to tow trailers of any proportion. And lately, American social platforms have been inundated with shared pictures and intriguing videos providing a detailed walk around the latest version of the semi. Drivers who have had the opportunity to operate this truck have shared intriguing insights into their first-hand experiences as well. One of the most captivating aspects of the semi is its power, surpassing that of a diesel semi. Astonishingly, these drivers have reported that their long routes only consumed approximately 20% of the charge. And with a maximum towing capacity of 80,000 pounds, which is 6.6 .6 times higher than a diesel truck can pull, which is up to 12,560 pounds, or a staggering 5.71 times stronger than the Ford F-150's maximum towing capacity of 14,000 pounds. Testimonials from drivers have praised the Tesla Semi's performance, with Pepsi drivers attesting to its exceptional stability and awe-inspiring battery life. PepsiCo recently also unveiled operational details of their Tesla Semi, providing impressive real-world mileage figures. The Pepsi Tesla Semi is delivering Frito-Lay products covering approximately 425 miles per charge. It also undertakes daily 100-mile routes from its Sacramento warehouse to stores as well as 300-400-mile to 400 mile runs to other distribution centers. Drivers have confirmed that the Tesla Semi can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mere 5 seconds, significantly surpassing its previous time of 20 seconds. Moreover, the truck can achieve 400 miles of range with just 30 minutes of charging and consumes less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile, which is coincidentally the same duration as the mandated break for truckers in an 8-hour shift. On the other hand, a recent video showcases Tesla semis being operated by human drivers, sparking our imagination and leading us to contemplate the potential of full autonomy. Elon Musk, the visionary behind Tesla, has repeatedly expressed his ambition for fully autonomous vehicles. As Tesla continues to refine and develop its autopilot technology, it becomes increasingly plausible that a day will come when completed Tesla cars drive themselves off the assembly line, gracefully load onto waiting Tesla semi-trailers, and autonomously navigate to their final destinations. Tesla is not only manufacturing cutting-edge vehicles like the Model 3 and Y, but they are also building the machines that deliver these cars to their service centers. This opens up a world of possibilities for the future. Just imagine a scenario where completed Tesla cars autonomously drive off the assembly line and seamlessly load onto waiting Tesla semi-trucks. Picture your new electric car being delivered directly on an electric semi-truck powered by solar and wind energy along with battery power. 
these cars would embark on their journey to their destinations all without any human intervention. It's worth noting that Tesla operates as a vertically integrated company, overseeing every aspect of the production process from vehicle design and parts manufacturing to assembly and distribution. This level of control enables Tesla to maintain exceptional quality standards and exert greater influence over production costs. With Tesla rapidly gaining popularity and becoming America's sweetheart due to its relentless pursuit of innovation, the Tesla Semi in particular is poised to make a significant impact once production scales to over 10,000 semi-trucks per year. Tesla's plans to manufacture 50,000 semi-trucks in the near future will undoubtedly have a substantial impact shaping the landscape of the trucking industry. The Tesla Semi video exemplifies the remarkable progress and forward-thinking approach that defines Tesla. It not only showcases the seamless harmony between Tesla's products, but it also sets the stage for a future where autonomous deliveries become the norm. As Tesla continues to push the boundaries of what is possible, we can't help but ponder. When the day will arrive when completed Tesla cars autonomously travel from the factory to our driveways. This advancement will solidify Tesla's position as a true pioneer in the electric vehicle industry, revolutionizing transportation. Once again, we witness the remarkable journey of Tesla and its groundbreaking innovations. The company's commitment to pushing the boundaries of technology and envisioning a future with autonomous vehicles sets it apart in the industry. As Tesla continues to lead the way, we eagerly and eagerly anticipate the day when the vision of autonomous deliveries becomes a reality, further cementing Tesla's place as a transformative force in the world of transportation. Moreover, Tesla's commitment to safety is evident in the design of the Semi, which aims to be one of the safest trucks on the road. Uh, I mean, you get things like regenerative braking. So like, let's say you're you know, going over a mountain range. Um, well, in diesel truck, you actually don't capture that, uh, the energy of height or potential energy. Uh, you, you have to actually spend a lot of money on expensive brakes going down the other side mm -hmm. so you don't mm -hmm. uh, run out of control. So whereas a, an electric semi-truck um, is able to recapture the, the, uh, energy, the, the gravitational potential energy and, and actually when it goes down the other side, uh, does not overheat the brakes. And Equipped with a range of safety systems, including stability control to prevent jackknifing, surround view cameras to reduce blind spots, automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, and lane departure warning, the Semi also features Tesla's enhanced autopilot semi-autonomous system. Tesla asserts that the Semi will offer unparalleled reliability. Electric powertrains with fewer moving parts are expected to experience fewer breakdowns and require less maintenance compared to their diesel counterparts. Musk even claims a powertrain life of a million miles and suggests that the regenerative braking system will render brake life essentially infinite. In terms of pricing, Tesla has announced that the 500-mile version of the Semi will be available for $180,000, while the 300-mile variant will cost $150,000. First generation and early development have additional research funding and all that. That's where the partnership and support come in. We believe there is a positive economic business case for electrifying the fleet, says PepsiCo's VP of Supply Chain, Mike O'Connell. Indeed, the Tesla Semi is generating excitement with its impressive capacity and advancements. Tesla's entry into the heavy electric truck industry presents a promising prospect as evidenced by the truck's power, towing capabilities, operational efficiency, safety features, and reliability. With the Tesla Semi setting new standards, the future of electric trucks appears bright, heralding a transformative era in the transportation industry. What do you think about the Tesla Semi's great performance and affordable price? Let us know in the comments section down below. Now, Tesla Semi is receiving the most favorable conditions for conducting production of the next gen but Tesla also received additional tax abatements totaling $330 million for promoting the production of semi-trucks in Nevada. That is on top of the $65.8 million back in 2022. Toward will be later than, than other vehicles um, because we need to have excess sufficient battery supply in order to um, have a battery that's you know maybe four or five times larger than it would be in a passenger car. Um, now, as the battery problem is solved, uh, we will... Um, go to volume production with the semi-truck. And I, I, I'm pretty sure Tesla will be first on this, um, but we're expecting to reach volume production probably sometime um, next year. Musk has confirmed plans to produce 50,000 semis annually from 2024 onwards, positioning Tesla as a leading truck company. 
Tesla's production target alone would exceed the Environmental Protection Agency's projected 5% electric vehicle sales deployment in 2027. The government's emphasis on zero-emission vehicles further encourages companies to engage in their production. Earlier this year, Tesla obtained over $330 million in tax breaks from Nevada, specifically for the expansion of its extensive vehicle battery facilities near Reno. The expansion includes the establishment of a new manufacturing facility for electric semi-trucks in northern Nevada. Tesla had previously received tax abatements totaling $65.8 million, encompassing payroll, real property tax, and personal property tax as outlined in the fiscal year of 2022 report from the Governor's Office of Economic Development. This additional investment in Nevada not only contributes to a manufacturing boom, but also generates approximately 3,000 job opportunities in the state promoting clean energy and bolstering national security. Tesla has spent $6.2 billion on its existing 5.4 million square foot gigafactory, which provided 17,000 construction jobs and more than 11,000 highly paid permanent jobs. And Tesla projects it will make another $3.6 billion capital investment, creating 3,000 new jobs at an average hourly rate of $33.49 with health insurance for 91% of its employees. This substantial investment not only reinforces Tesla's presence in Nevada, but also highlights its contribution to job creation, economic growth, and the pursuit of sustainable energy solutions. Tesla's receipt of tax abatements and its commitment to expanding its manufacturing facilities in Nevada marks a significant stride in the production of the Tesla Semi. The company's ambitious production target and investment in the state illustrate its determination to establish itself as a key player in the heavy truck industry, all the while generating employment opportunities and fostering clean energy initiatives. What do you think of this Nevada-based Tesla expansion? And at this scale, will your company's orders for semi-trucks be fulfilled as planned on time? In any case, that's about it for the Tesla Semi. At least, that's as far as we know. Next up, we're bringing you the latest information regarding the Tesla Cybertruck that looks like a beast in the snow in the New Zealand Winter Test. This Winter Test showcases its remarkable performance in snowy conditions. The truck exhibits its ruggedness and capability proving to be a formidable vehicle in challenging weather leaving a lasting impression on observers. The Tesla Cybertruck proves to be a formidable machine in snowy conditions, as indicated by recent videos captured during winter tests at the Southern Hemisphere Proving Grounds in New Zealand. Images shared online revealed the presence of two Cybertruck units at the testing site, one wrapped in camouflage and another showcasing its stainless steel exterior. Alongside the Cybertrucks, Tesla's S3XY lineup was also spotted undergoing winter testing. And no, I did not spell that out in order to be cheeky. That was just coincidence. Tesla traditionally sends vehicles to the SHPG in New Zealand during months like July when it is summer in the United States, allowing for comprehensive winter testing in New Zealand. Given Tesla's vehicle lineup present at the location, it wouldn't be surprising if the company shares more winter test features in the coming months. Thanks to the efforts of Tesla enthusiasts in New Zealand, snippets of the winter test have surfaced online. These videos provide glimpses of the Cybertruck duo navigating snowy terrains with ease. From the footage, it appears that the all-electric pickup truck handles snowy roads and freezing conditions adeptly. The videos show the two Cybertrucks being driven with some speed around the winter testing site. In one instance, the camouflaged Cybertruck unit briefly drifted on what seemed to be icy roads. Despite the challenging conditions, the vehicle maintained stability, and its driver exhibited no difficulties in controlling the massive all-electric pickup truck. As Tesla gears up for Cybertruck production in the coming months, it is crucial for the company to finalize various aspects of the vehicle. The Cybertruck is expected to serve diverse purposes, including overlanding and work-related activities. Thus, Tesla must ensure that the Cybertruck performs well in all terrains, including snow and ice. Fortunately, the short videos from the winter tests at the SHPG suggest that the Cybertruck will be highly capable in winter conditions. Overall, the Tesla Cybertruck's performance in the snowy New Zealand tests indicate its potential to handle various challenging terrains. As production nears, Tesla's focus on ensuring the Cybertruck's capabilities in different environments bodes well for those eager to experience this rugged all-electric pickup truck. What do you think of Cybertruck's experimental move? Do you feel satisfied with the results? 
Leave a comment below with some of your opinions on this. To wrap up today's episode, let's take a look at how Tesla is cleared to begin construction of Gigafactory Mexico. The governor of Nuevo Leon, Samuel Garcia, recently announced that all paperwork has been cleared, signaling the imminent commencement of construction for Gigafactory Mexico by Tesla. The impending start of construction brings Tesla one step closer to introducing a new generation of vehicles. If Tesla can maintain an affordable entry price, say around $25,000 to even $30,000 for this new vehicle, it is likely to achieve remarkable sales success. However, it's been four months since the initial announcement and Tesla has yet to break ground, reportedly due to awaiting permits. Governor Garcia, who has been involved in the project, believes that the green light to commence construction will be given at any moment. He confirmed that we do not yet have a date of when, but the good news is that all the permits of the environment, of energy, of water, everything is already halved. It is progressing. So at any moment, we are going to give them the news that the first stone is being laid. Governor Garcia also provided insights into what he believes Tesla intends to manufacture at the new facility. What we have of information is that right now they are already in the final stage of the design of the new car, new model, which is going to be, as far as we know, the best electric and economical car in the world, and it is going to be a hit. So now, yes, with the design finished, what we know is that they are already finishing the production lines, the software, and everything that must be ready to start the plant. Tesla is in the final stages of designing a new model that is expected to be the best electric and economical car globally. The Mexican governor expressed his excitement about the new model, referring to it as a milestone. He stated that Tesla is currently finalizing production lines and software to ensure readiness for the plant's operation. Initially, expectations were high that Gigafactory Mexico would be built within a similar time frame as Gigafactory Shanghai. However, reports from China suggest that Tesla has revised the estimated completion to the first quarter of 2025, as shared with its suppliers in China. While the timeline for Gigafactory Mexico may have been adjusted, the comments from the governor about the completion of permits are promising, indicating that the facility is not facing the permit-related permit-related delays experienced by Tesla's other factories, such as Gigafactory Berlin. The clearance of paperwork and the imminent start of construction for Gigafactory Mexico by Tesla is a positive development. The facility's location near Monterey, combined with Governor Garcia's statements about the new model's design and the progress in securing permits, suggests a promising future for the factory. And that's it for today's episode. What do you think about the new Tesla Gigafactory opening in Mexico? Share your ideas in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to ring the bell so you can stay up to date on new Tesla Car World content. Once again, we thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.